I'm turning my eight stunning sisters into models for my biggest art project ever, which means my sister Laura and I only have three days to capture nine photos of each sister. The goal is to capture a sister's perspective on what it looks like for each sibling to let down their social mask and be vulnerable. But letting each other see our true vulnerable selves proved to be a lot more difficult than we expected. Honestly, how did we misread her so much? It's not that I'm trying to crush her. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to go and like actually confront her on this. When you pick that barrier down, that could be kind of catastrophic to some people. I can cry. Let's all hope this goes well and I don't end up traumatizing my own family. I was having mental breakdown before this. About, the, about this weekend? My biggest fear um, with working with Laura on this project is that I'm going to overwhelm her. I'm so stressed and I was thinking like, how on earth am I supposed to do this with the kids? I don't know what Rebecca is expecting from me. I don't know what, like, I don't think I'm going to be able to perform and like do the things that she's wanting. Okay, listen, I absolutely believe that you're gonna do awesome. I'm not just saying that for the camera, but I <laughs> do mean it. I, I feel like I have a tendency to get over enthusiastic and I'm just afraid that I'm gonna like make her feel like she can't do this. I have the gowns. Oh, I know, they're so pretty. I've, I'm excited. It's the same gown for everybody. This is the dress. Do you think that us doing this is gonna make trauma? No. <laughs> I am the painter. So what we're gonna do, we need to make our own little area to sit. Is she's gonna take all the photographs that we've already sat down, talked through, we have the brief for each of the sisters. It's just a matter of execution. We're gonna put it up in a gallery, my painting, her photograph. To calm our nerves and help us get a grip on the project, we decide to tackle our briefs first. Dab in. And you don't, you don't brush, you blend. You dab in. Oh my gosh. Can you stop? Oh my gosh. How have you lived this long? Okay. One, two, no, three, not, I don't what? know who else to be. Rebecca and I, our relationship is a little bit um, hot and cold. Can you stop? I know how to do my own makeup. I'm afraid that we are just going to argue the entire time. I feel like excited for this. Four, five, six, mm -hmm. like they say I can Look at us. We just came up with a whole makeup look and we're not makeup artists. We were feeling pretty good about ourselves until our older sister Jessica showed up. <laughs> I mask my vulnerability with being silly and being goofy. I was gonna add, add maybe like a little bit of blue, like a blue eyeshadow. Blue. Yeah, because clowns always have like that, you know, you look, look like But just like do it really lightly so it's pretty, but like it has to add a pop. All right, back to the makeup room. Yeah. With the makeup done, it was time to shoot. Oh my goodness, I love that one. Amazing. Guys, guys you go see. Bing, bam, boom. These are way better photos than I ever could have imagined. We're running out of time, so let's do yours. Right, let's go. It's clear that Jessica has great insights into our briefs, but that left us feeling insecure about our own insights into hers, which would come back to bite us later. I don't know how to do this. I wasn't really angry. I got a moment. That's your problem. You're always disappointed in yourself because you're trying to keep up and it's not working. Jessica, on the other hand. <laughs> Laura and I know Jessica. Probably better than most people know Jessica. We sit her down, Beck and I. Jessica, this is your brief. So Jessica perfected the mask. Um, she's tired of this charade. She's been holding this pose maybe too long. Is that, that's it? That's all we got. <laughs> so as we're doing it, she was like, okay, I can hear you. And then she starts changing the tone. Defense. I'm like letting my defenses down to just be who I am because that's who I am and I love who I am and I see the value of it and I don't need other people to see that value for me to actually um, recognize my worth. It takes us 700 pictures to get Jessica's. And as we start to shoot her, it starts to get harder and harder because we start to get more and more muddy about what it is that we're even trying to capture here. Oh my goodness. She's just gorgeous. But the story, the brief, is lacking. Here the brief is that, you know, we're the ones who see her, but yet she's the one telling us what she wants us to see. Seeing beyond the mask is a very unique position that sisters who grew up with you, who know you so intimately, are able to see beyond. 
That's what this entire project is about. We did three girls in one day, and we thought that that would be too much for us. With one day down, that leaves us with two days to capture the rest of the six sisters. Hey, we might actually get four done today. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Before you did finish what you wanted me to do. Every time we're dressing. done, every time we're done, person, you got them all them unzipped and all that stuff. Guys, I literally said think about hair. <laughs> well, at least I got all my hair stuff. I got my brush, got my spray bottle, I got everything. In your own words, what do you think this project's about? Ah, this is feeling like school, Becca. It's not. I'm just gonna be guessing the questions. Sisterly bond. And then we'll draw the sisters to get together and for you to take a video. How sisters have a bond, but nobody else has. It's kind of revealing the deep, hidden secrets of people's personalities. <laughs> oh, can I hug it? They feel like you have the pressure of having to be older than you actually are. And people treat you like you're older than you actually are. A little bit. Okay, Bethany, this is what we have Hi. seen in you. Social editing. I don't want to be relied on or reliant on someone. You feel like that's true? That's pretty true. What do you think of the brief that Laura and I picked out for you? Yeah. That's good. I, I definitely think it's, yeah, that's good. Exhale. So simmer it, shoe. Like, what does it mean for you to have those moments where that guard is down? She's taken down the wall, right? It's like a soldier at rest. This is simmer it. You can breathe a little. She is able to tap into a level of pain. You can't do that. I'm gonna start crying in the yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That is so raw, is so real. I was coming to hurt you right now at this moment. It is so hard to do. Um, so kudos to Simret. Girl, it was just amazing. It's smashing. I can't wait to paint it. So I was talking to Hava and I think we need to change our brief for Hava. We kind of felt like peer pressure was something that you're currently going through. No, girl. We know what happened last year. We know what you did with your friends. Are there times where you feel like in order to be cool, you do something really. to impress them? As an older sister, I would think, I was like looking at her friends, thinking her friends were a bad influence on her. How did we misread her so much? I've heard some stories. Okay, that was bad because I started the trend in my friends. <laughs> I started it. You started it? Yes. Girl. I think that we just have blinders on because that's our little sister, you know? we think, oh, she's so sweet, she would never, you know, of course she would be peer pressured. No, she's the one doing it to her friends. We have to change the entire brief for this girl. But I think when I told her about how we're like, we do see that you like mask your vulnerability behind a shiny front, and then you know, it's like a cutesy once you feel uncomfortable or right. vulnerable. Right. And she was like, yeah, spot on. Maybe she's on like a chair, like on your little stool thing, and she's like, like this, and then she's got like her hand oh. going up, and she's like peeking. So actually, she wants to like what she actually wants to do is like hide. So maybe she's hiding, and then she's doing her cute little hand whatever it is. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do. Okay. <laughs> we nail a brief in literally five minutes. Go. I mean, these photographs are looking on point. We are. I, I, like, I feel yeah, like we have it. We start pulling up the images on the computer and looking at them and Laura and I are like swooning. I don't know how I feel about the peace sign. I was giving 2010 Tumblr. All the time, I was like, that's what kids do. I thought do. the kids do that now. We are killing it. Yeah. We're getting it done. We're getting the shot faster and faster. Yeah. Like the more we do this, the better we get. Laura and I were feeling on top of the moon. With the second day down and four girls done, we only had two more shoots to do. So it was time to give everyone a preview of the work so far. So we sit down with the whole family. We show everybody's photos to everybody. It's not done yet, but you guys get to see this and you will not see it for the next three months. And we're going through them. They made her cry. Yeah, we did. And I get to Jessica. Say Jessica's. Jessica's. And I'm supposed to describe Jessica's brief. I think what we actually found was Jessica's like, I, what did we actually find? I realized I have like no words for her brief. I'm like, I don't actually know what it was about. So I think it is. 
Jessica is opening up her beauty. Sure enough, she takes over and she starts saying what the brief is. I'm embracing all aspects of who I am and being yeah. beautiful and the way it draws people in is who I am and I draw people in through who I am by being true to who I am instead of trying to hide it or diminish it. And I'm sitting there listening to it and I'm like, this isn't resonating. This isn't hitting right. Yeah, you're beautiful and you're coming into your beauty, but that's not your mask. It's not fitting. Should we just stand here and have coffee? It's been later. What's the emotion that we're capturing for Abigail, right? Uh, and I'm like, okay, very good. I actually think Abigail enjoys strong. It's a way for her to clock out because what does she do? When we start to get down deep and personal with her, she drops some sort of drama bomb that gets the limelight off of her. And my goodness. The way that Abigail masks is she deflects. Yesterday we asked her, we legit sat down with her. Yeah. Said, we were literally having a conversation with her. Because she her. sat down we, and we could tell all day she was off. And we were like, okay, at the end of the day, we're like, Abby, just tell us what happened. Like, sure enough, that's exactly what she does. She goes, so, how did you feel about Jessica taking over her own brief? Did you hear us talking about you? <laughs> yep. What do you think of our brief for you? It's very fitting. Yeah? <laughs> I'm never a part of the drama, I just know all the drama. <laughs> Jessica took over her brief, that is her mask. She has to present the image to the world. Everything that she does is perfectly edited and curated. With this new information, we revisited Jessica's brief and realized that the answer to her mask was there all along. I think that I want this one because right. it shows her cocooning herself. Yeah. And I think that's brilliant. This hey. project is sisters seeing beyond the mask. It's like somebody went in pierced into her vulnerability and she's like, get the F out of here. What actually do we see in her that is um, the way that she approaches vulnerability? She's in super defensive. Out, whereas the, the other one, where she was like open more, yeah. this is, she's like, what are you doing? I'm putting my walls up, you are not allowed in. Like that's what I see here. We have to have a conversation with Jessica. We can't just be like, this is actually what it is. And have her feel like we blindsided her. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to go and like actually confront her on this. Terrified to confront Jessica, we went to our dad to ask for some advice. I mean, you're branching into whole other areas out of this project. Yeah. Uh, how does he even know? Yeah. This is fascinating. I love it. I love it. But now we have to tell Jessica that the way that she described <laughs> the brief is not actually what we're going to be saying. Actually, I think your pictures speak volumes yeah and so you know with the pictures using the pictures to show you know there is stuff going on here and but yet you got to be careful too because mm -hmm. people put up these things as a protection too mm -hmm. but before we could confront Jessica we had one last sister to capture and we were about to learn just how true our dad's advice was am I the last person you're the last one but Lauren I see in you is that you're almost willing to sacrifice your own self and your own desires to make sure that other people are happy and taken care of. There's a scene that happens when you're dealing with intense vulnerability. One of the things that we ended up realizing with Emma was we can take it too far. When you take away the mask, when you strip it away from a person, you're also taking away their armor. You're actually going to make me cry. That's okay! Who cares? Oh, let it out. You deserve attention too. Why can't they see you? You deserve to be seen, Emma. I'm a little bit terrified that I might have just traumatized my sister. I'm grateful to her, but I, I feel really bad. I think that's not something we should do. Do you feel like you know what you're what we are saying with Jessica's now? Yes, I feel like we know what we're looking for with Jessica's. So the very last thing I want to do is actually crumple her line of defense. If this is what she feels she needs right now to hold on, to be in control. We're here to have some coffee and have a conversation with Jessica about the brief. Because it just, it's a different, it's a different brief than what she thinks it is. On Saturday night, I was like, when it got to yours, I was like, I don't know how to describe this. And then you started to describe it, and I was like, this isn't, this isn't fitting. The whole entire point of this show is sisters on sisters and how we see behind the mask. Like what you, the story you told was a great story of like, but it's more my of story. You, it's your, it's your story. It's not actually how we see.
how you mask when you feel vulnerable, right? I mean, my picture still fits the brief, but I'm curious to see what you guys are gonna say about it. Jessica, I think you put up, you try to control a situation. So you create the surroundings to control the situation. It's not that I'm trying to control the situation, I'm trying to make you see what I want, it's only what I want you to see. That's how I control them. Yes. So basically, it's like what you're saying. Like, I'm only showing the parts I want you to see. So that's how I try to control the situation. I'm very happy Jessica's on board with the way that we see her and on board with letting us change how she saw the brief. But at the same time, I still feel a little bit frustrated that I was unable to articulate it in the way that she felt heard and seen. All my fears of working with Rebecca and being scared have gone out the window. It is like amazing how art mirrors therapy so well. When Rebecca told me that she wanted my work alongside hers in the galleries, I really, really hesitated. I have learned so much about myself. It is incredibly satisfying to put to image the very things that I'm thinking and feeling. I was saying like, no, 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 like your work Painted alone is enough. I'm seeing what she's saying. I'm recognizing that there is a point in what she's saying. It's actually very important. I also have a voice and that is good to share. And I should not hide my work anymore. Anyway, see me on the flip side because I got to go do some paintings and oh my goodness. I'm terrified about this. I, I feel like I don't know how to paint. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I have lost all my skill as a painter.